Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you'll be fine. This is Cambridge Primary Mathematics book, textbook 6. And today we are starting with chapter number 6 which is related to fractions and percentages. We have already done these type of questions earlier a lot of times, especially in grade 5. So this is not a new topic for you all. And we are going to discuss exercise 6.1. Let's see what questions are bearing for us. So here in question number one, it says represent these divisions as fractions. We are provided with some statements and we have to convert these divisions as fractions. So we know that division and fractions are interrelated. Basically, division is fraction and fraction are divisions. When we have to divide something among different amounts, so we can use fractions or divisions words. If 5 divided by 6 is given, it means it's 5 divided by 6 is equals to 5 upon 6 and 6 divided by 5 is like 6 divided by 5 is equals to 6 over 5 here we have number of items less than the amount to be shared between the number of people okay so here we are dividing like five chocolates among six chocolates uh, sorry among six children so none of them will get a whole everybody will get less than a whole so therefore 5 over 6 is called a proper fraction 5 upon 6 is less than one whole because it's not even equals to 6 okay so whenever the numerator is less than the denominator this sort of fraction is called a proper fraction and proper fraction always expresses less than a whole less than one whole and when we have these sort of fractions where the numerator is greater than the denominator, then this fraction is called an improper fraction expressing amount greater than one whole. Like I have six chocolates which has to be shared among five children. So each child will get more than one chocolate or at least one chocolate and some part of the other then we have 10 divided by 4 so 10 divided by 4 is equals to 10 upon 4 and here we have 4 divided by 10 so it's 4 upon 10 now you can understand that 10 divided by 4 means 10 upon 4 gives us more than two holes and 4 divided by 10 is again a proper fraction expressing less than a whole right Let's move to the next question. Next question says Ahmed, Carlos and Ludwig, Oliver and Rajiv shared three cakes equally between them. How many children are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five children are sharing three cakes. They have the number of cakes are three and there are five children. That is three cakes has to be shared among five children what fraction of a cake does each person get so we have to find out the fraction of a cake fraction of a cake that is the number of cakes has to be shared number of cakes to be shared among the number of children okay do not get it mixed it's not number of children. We are not dividing the number of children among the number of cakes. That doesn't make a sense. So it's actually number of cakes to be divided among the number of given children. So it's going to be three cakes to be divided among five children, right? So each of them would get three upon five of a cake. That's all. You see, let's make three cakes over here. One, two three okay to give a proper representation we can do it like this one here we have five pieces here we have five pieces and here we have five pieces in all three cakes we made three pieces uh, five pieces right there are three cakes and it has to be shared among five children so each of them would get three pieces let us prove it one that is for the first one one two three one two three third friend one two three fourth friend one two three fifth friend one two three so you see each of them is getting three pieces each so this is how we have represented three over five that is if we will make five pieces in a cake each of the friend will get three pieces out of it that is what three over five means Okay, students, this is how you have to 
represent your fractions. Next question says, which word can you use to complete this sentence? When you find 6 over 5 of a number, you are using a fraction as an dash. Oh, it's an operator, right? Just like addition, subtraction, multiplication. So whenever we are saying that, it's not operation, it's operator. right so what does it mean by an operator because it says when you find six fifth of a number where it comes off between two numbers it's always means multiplication so six fifth of a number means six upon five multiply by that number so in this situation six upon five becomes an operator now we have to calculate three fifth of 16 5 fourth of 12 and 5 to oh, 5 2 of 4 meters so let's see how can we calculate these numbers okay so the first one here is 3 fourth of 16 so we are supposed to write it like this 3 over 4 multiply by 16 so you have two options either you multiply 3 with 16 first and divide it by 4 but i do not personally prefer this method i personally prefer simplifying first because we can cut the numerator with the denominator in multiplication specifically but not in addition and subtraction so we will go for uh, cutting them so i'll show you cutting first and then multiplying in the first one and then multiplying first and cutting later in the second one so that it would be 4 ones are 4, 4 fours are 16. Then we are left with 1 in the denominator only. And we are having 3 times 4 in the numerator. So we'll mul now multiply 3 with 4 and it gives us 12. Or you can do it the other way. 3 multiply by 16 first, which is 48. And then dividing it by 4. So that gives you the same answer that is $12. So 3 fourth of 16 is uh, 12 what does it mean by 3 fourth of 16 means dividing 16 into four pieces four parts that is making four parts of 16 dollars you have to share 16 dollars among like four children so it would be four dollars each would get but then multiplying it among three that is one of them is getting three parts so it would be uh, four multiplied by three that is 12 so same over here 5 over 4 of 12 means 5 upon 4 multiplied by 12 that is dividing 12 into 4 parts and then taking 5 out of it so it's gonna become 4 ones are 4 or let's multiply it first 5 12s are 60 and then dividing 60 by 4 which is 15 dollars so here we have more than one whole it's five upon four an improper fraction representing more than greater than a whole so it would be more than twelve dollars four upon four of twelve is one whole of twelve that is twelve dollar itself but five upon four means one upon four more than twelve dollars right so one quarter of a twelve is three dollars so we will add three into twelve and it becomes fifteen and then the next one comes five two of four meters so it's gonna become five upon two multiply by four so it's two ones are two two twos are four and five twos are ten meters so the answer would be ten meters right so it is what meant by five two of four meters five two means even more than two uh, double of four meters because uh, two upon two is one hole four upon two is uh, two hole right so it would be double of four meters and then five upon two is one upon two and two holes of four meters right next we have in the next question we have halima swims one half of 500 meters let's cut down this picture over here whenever you see any picture of a human or a an animal just cut it down next question says halima swims half of 500 meters half one upon two means half half of something so half of 500 equals to 250 meters and bella swims three tenth of 800 meters that is dividing 800 into 10 parts which is 80 and then multiplying it by three that is what it means by three tenth of 800 meters so who swims further who swims more we have to explain how you know so we are simply gonna multiply one upon two with 500 
and then we'll multiply 3 over 8 with 800 to find who has swam more right so for this we'll simply do this 1 upon 2 multiply by 500 so it's 2 into 250 that's the half of 500 so it means halima swam 500 meters and for bella it's 3 tenth of 800 so we'll cut down this zero with the zero that is dividing 800 with 10 gives us 80 and then multiplying 80 with 3 which is 240 meters so it means halima swam 250 meters and bella swam only 240 meters so we can say that halima swam more and halima swims further right in the next question it says leroy and vene each have 90 bricks okay they both have 90 bricks each leroy uses three fifth of his bricks to build a wall and vene uses three uh, five sixth of his bricks to build a wall how many bricks do they have left all together so first we have to figure out that how many bricks did they use all together and then how many are left so first we will go for leroy it's three fifth of 90 and for vene it's five sixth of 90 so first we will divide 5 with 90 and it's uh, 5 times are 8 5 18s are 90 i guess because 5 20s are 100 and then we will multiply 18 with 3 which is 9 6 are 54 so it's 54 bricks it means leroy uses 54 bricks and for vene it's uh, 6 1s are 6 6 15s are 90 and then 15 5s are 75 so it means Vene uses more bricks than Leroy but we have to figure out that how many bricks do they have left all together so for finding out how many are left with Leroy it's 90 minus 54 and for uh, Vene it would be 90 minus 75 so 90 minus 54 is equals to 36 and 90 minus 25 is equals to 15 so together it will be 36 plus 15 which is 51 bricks it means out of 90 plus 90 180 bricks only 51 bricks are left that is what we have to find out and we have to show our workings and we have already shown them clearly so we are done till question number six inshallah in the next video we'll solve few more questions until then take care do subscribe to my channel if you are new and don't forget to share it with your friends as much as you can take care allah hafiz